Birch trees are flowing. Snow's almost gone. After the 2022 maple syruping season concluded, I made some changes to the reverse osmosis system. First thing I did was add two additional membranes. What this did was increase the output and decrease the pressure needed. To test out this system, we ran a batch of birch sap through. It requires a lot of work to remove the water. In one of these clips, you'll see I'm actually cycling the concentrate back into the original sap bucket. So essentially what I'm doing is just pulling out the water. Once that got low enough, I refined it more down to our boiling pot. Since it was under five gallons, we finished inside the house. Another addition that I wanted to try was a TDS meter, total dissolved solids. It measures in parts per million. This gives me a real time measurement without having to use a refractometer or a hydrometer. I placed the TDS meter on the concentrate line. This proved very useful. Using measurements from a refractometer and the readout from the TDS meter, I was able to generate a chart corresponding to the two. If you are a recreational spreadsheeter like I am, here is the data for the best fit line for 13 readings. Each data point corresponds a TDS reading with an actual BRICS measurement with refractometer. Using the TDS meter, I could watch for parts per million to drop down to less than 20. My tap water is around 80. When it reaches 20, I know that the flush is now complete. Additionally, at the start of a flush cycle, there is clean water pushing the concentrate out. Once the cleaner water gets to the TDS meter, I know that I can stop collecting the output and I can continue to flush. This allows me to recover a higher percentage of concentrate without wasting it in the flush cycle. Thanks for watching, and I will check back after the 2023 season. Take care.